mindset. All right, I'm just gonna walk you through like um, how fitness and mindset plays a vital role, especially in when it comes to. Sorry, I'm just gonna move this here. Especially when it comes to um, entrepreneurship uh, and actually being able to handle the pressure, the stress, and everything that comes along with having your own business or brand or whatever, you know, something you're doing that's making money. So, all right, let's just jump into it. <laughs> mindset is everything. So, Basically, uh, <clears throat> if you don't have the right mindset, you you can't do anything. You know, you can't do anything without the right mindset. The mindset part is the most vital part in every aspect of your life. Because if the mindset is not right, nothing's gonna happen. You know, if you want to fix your life, you fix your mindset first. You know, mind, body, and soul. <laughs> There's a reason why mind is first. All right. Like you can read all the books, watch all the podcasts in the world, but if your mindset is not right, you're just wasting your time because you will never actually execute on the things you're reading about or the podcast. You're just consuming content, con just consuming information. And if you don't have the mindset to actually execute on the things you are learning, like what's the point? You know, you're just mindlessly watching other people talk about things. You know, so, yeah, mindset is the most vital part in every aspect of an entrepreneur's life. And let me, you know. All right, so, like I said, start with the mindset, then start showing up for yourself, you know. Keep the promises you tell yourself. So, for example, if you say, I'm going to wake up at 8 a.m. or 6 a.m. this morning, like, all... Let's say let's say you're gonna make a goal of waking up 6 a.m. and hit the gym, you know, at 7 a.m. or something, and you keep that promise to yourself for a week. You know, just start small. Don't be going out there and saying I'm I'm gonna wake up at six. I'm gonna read a book. I'm gonna do this and this and this and this because you will never be able to keep your promises. You know, and just stop talking shit, man. You know, just just be honest with yourself because. Like when I started out, I was just telling myself, yeah, I was going to do this and this and this, but I always, I'm a guy that keeps my promises, you know? So all day, all night long, just fucking my head was spinning crazy. Just thinking about the things I had to do because I actually told them I had to do it, you know? So I'm just promising, especially when I promise other people to do something that's not beneficial to me. So. That's probably the one of the reasons, the biggest reason why I moved out here uh, to Kuala Lumpur. Um, was just to get away from all this noise because now uh, nobody's gonna tell me nothing. You know, I, I don't have to promise nobody anything. I'm just here by myself for myself. You know, so and it's really easy to show up for myself because I have mad respect for myself. You know, I'm the only person in this world that can keep a promise to myself. You know, so that's something something that every entrepreneur should should actually start developing that's keeping your promises to yourself you know once you have done like got the mindset right you started showing up for yourself you're not keeping your promises then start focusing on your diet because the diet is a huge part part of how you're feeling you know don't go to the like don't wake up at 7 or 6 a.m and then just check down a i don't even know man don't start your day with eating shit. You know, I, I always break my fast or break my, like, I call it breaking fast, like breakfast. But I hit the gym. So I wake up at like around, when I'm here, I wake up around nine because I'm working on, on another timeline or time zone. <laughs> but um, my ultimate, like, mornings, and I, I wake up at 7 a.m., hit the gym, hit the sauna, hit the plunge if I can. And then I go eat like four eggs, three or four eggs. It depends if I'm uh, trying to get cut, you know, if I'm getting into like calorie deficit or not. But like those mornings right now, I'm eating four eggs per day or four eggs per morning. So and my diet is pretty consistent throughout the day, but it has been kind of rocky since I got here because I'm actually just trying to figure out uh, 
you know, it's hard to count macros when you're in a different country because I'm so used to Iceland and Iceland, <laughs> we have clean water, we have clean beef, you know, we have grass fed beef, we, our eggs are pristine, you know, every meat is fucking, yeah, you know, so, and yeah, just start focusing on your diet and then don't cheat yourself with shortcuts, bro. Like, don't, you know, I, I can talk a lot, of, a lot about shortcuts, man. I lived my early 20s only thinking about shortcuts. Like, what's the quickest way to get to this? Like, using steroids, uh, hanging with the wrong crowd, uh, seeing fast results. You just end up, like, cheating yourself, you know. Uh, and I'm talking from experience, you know. I've had money before. I've been making 20, 30, 30K a month. But, I, like I said, I just pissed it away because a shortcut life delivers short-term result, you know. So short-term thinking delivers short-time results. And now we are, I'm thinking long-term. I'm just keeping consistent with my diet. I keep showing up on myself. I keep my promises to myself. And especially, I don't cheat myself with shortcuts. I just do the work that is in front of, that is in front of me and just get shit done. <laughs> no, my, t my two cents on, the pro on like fitness and mindset, uh, it's basically just stop consuming and start producing, you know, because in the end, like, for example, if you start to want to make, make content, like stop consuming the content and start producing it, you know, you don't need to have all it, all this shit figured out. Like me, for example, I have no idea what I'm doing right now, if I'm being completely honest, but I have these guys like Colin and Jack Hopkins that are like kind of my, <clears throat> uh, I look to, I look up to them in terms of personal branding and how they are living their life, you know, because they are having what I want. So just be consistent and stop consuming and start producing, you know, you will win big in the end, you know. So I can promise you that. Just keep consistent for at least what I'm doing right now. I'm just keeping consistent for 30 days, posting uh, daily YouTube, YouTube videos, uh, trying to do some shorts. And then I have my Instagram as well, uh, posting daily stories, trying to post three reels per week and one carousel post and uh, posting a little bit of photos and just just being out there, like putting myself out there and just starting producing the content. You know, I'm not really worried about the quality of the content because I don't really give a fuck. You know, I'm just getting it done. Um, like a little bit about me. Mm. I'm a dedicated guy, really dedicated. And I've basically been been an e-com my whole entire life. I started when I was, I think it's 2015. I had my first I re registered business in uh, 2016. It was a clothing brand called Kion, and it's still live uh, today, but I sold it in 2021 or 2022. I'm not really sure, uh, somewhere around that time, you know, uh, probably in the end of 2021. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So um, after that, I just I poured my money into put my money into like the bull run and everything and kind of <laughs> kind of screwed myself over there but now we're heading into the like a bull run from 2024 and i have had this like project for a while now basically a startup company and i've just been pouring money into it and actually just talked to luke bellman about it and he just told me like bro you can't be doing shit like this you know you can't be trying to run a or build a multi-million dollar business on a, you know, on a, basically on a salary, you know, because I, I, this is just my money to be spent on my life. I need to level myself up before going into a big business like this, you know, because in the end, I, I'm going to get paid last because I'm the CEO, I'm the founder. I will get paid last. Like my employees get paid, the project get paid, gets paid, the products get paid. Everyone gets paid except for me. So... I have decided to actually just cut ties and just put it in a drawer for a little while because I can't execute it with excellence, you know, and I can't do it fast. And it's really time consuming and I don't have the time. You can check my other video on decision and execution. You know, that's, that's my two cents on the matter. So see you guys in the next one.